Hello everyone, welcome back so to back on this boat. a new episode of Tell Me Why. Last time we left off, we met our one of our protags here, Tyler, and our other protag, Allison. And we made it here on this boat because we're going back to our childhood home. Uh, let's start checking some things out. Got, uh, professional binoculars, some... I think those are fishnets, yeah, that's a gunning knife. Fishing rod. Ooh, a shovel. Okay. Uh, hello, Alexander. Uh... You going hunting? You planning to land a moose with that? Good eye. Wanna draw on a bull tag up this way. You got your license and tag on you? <laughs> Why, yes, officer. Everything's in order. You hunt? Never had the chance. No. Too bad. Ain't nothing like laying down the hammer on a big damn animal. You feel alive. Where are you headed? Uh, Delos Crossing? Same here. You from around here? Uh, just visiting. Just in town for a few days. I see. Any relatives in the area? My sister. My sister. And she's moving soon. This a goodbye trip then? <laughs> Something like that. I'm Alex, by the way. Alex Gershwin. No relation. Huh? To George Gershwin. Um. Gershwin, the pianist. Folks are always asking you for related, so I try to head it off the pass. Oh. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Just call me Tyler. Just call me Tyler. All right. Good to meet you, Tyler. Likewise, sir. Yeah, he was a uh, he was a bit uh, weird. <laughs> not not sure. Uh, I like that guy too much. I don't know the uh, the being like ah oh, no relation to some obscure figure is like I don't I don't know man. <laughs> I I have no idea who that character is. I'm not even sure if they're real. Nice look off the boat. Please remain in the vehicle while the ferry is docking. So, you're saying if I run out here and jump off the boat, that's bad. Well, no, it said while it's docking, so I should be good if I run off now. I think I need to read that sign. Can look out here, though. Yup, those are some woods. They sure are. Good eye, Tyler. Alright, what do we have here? Headshot? Oh, oh geez. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's kind of an ass. Headshot, and then it has gun control, but it has it crossed out and says crime. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, don't particularly agree with that. At all. But, hey man, you do you. Introduction to making Devil's Club Tea. There is no substitute. Protect our only home. Yeah, I agree with this one. Protect our- protect Earth. Under the Sea by the Gastineau High School Winter Formal. Tlinket Dance Performance. Canoe for Sale. What is this? Do Drop In Bed and Breakfast. No, thank you. Denali Expeditions. Alright. I don't think there's anything too important here that we need to check out. Leave. So we can leave. Let's talk to Allison though. See how her phone conversation went. Hey again. Fancy meeting you here. You guys gonna say anything? Or just be awkward? See the harbor. Okay. We're almost there. Are we? Yeah, I guess that is the harbor, huh? I wonder if I can wait for the boat to actually get there and then this just ends, or if I actually do have to get into the car. I wonder. Like, are we actually making progress to it? Kind of seems like we are. Or maybe not.
Eh, I can't tell. I honestly can't tell. It might just be constantly moving us back a little bit. But, uh, let's just go ahead and get in the car. Or is it truck? And there we go. We are off the boat. We have successfully done better than Guts. And now we will drive to our splendid little home that has a lot of bad memories, apparently. Or, definitely. In uh, Tyler's case. I'm not sure about Allison. I'm not sure if Allison has any bad memories at this place, but uh, Tyler definitely does. Of course, I guess having your mom uh, stabbed might be a bit of a bad memory, but uh, maybe neither of them liked their mom much anyway, so we'll see. <laughs> the, the brand of the car was Fjord, like fjording a river, or a fjord instead of Ford. Yeah, Allison doesn't seem too happy to be back either. Which, fair. I made sure to be careful during the conversation to so not let anyone know our relationship. I imagine if I said my last name, the guy Alex probably would have been like, Oh, dude, you're the, you're the one that murdered the mom. I'd be like, uh... Kinda taken in the atmosphere. Oh, I didn't even see them back there. I thought this was just a picture of the trees. But yeah, they're still hanging out back here. Giving the fence a good old rub down. Man, imagine just having this as like your front yard. This like snowy tree landscape. That would be so amazing to me personally. Basically, exactly like I remember it. Only faded. Like a Polaroid left on a windowsill. From the outside, it almost looks charming. Charm's not the problem. Structural integrity may be an issue. You think there's a chance whoever buys it will just tear it down? If someone buys it, they can do whatever they want with it. You wouldn't care at all? Would you? Sure. Everywhere I look, I see a piece of one of our adventures. Everywhere I look, I just see her. Allison, we could go grab a bite. Start this tomorrow? No. The only way to get this done is to do it. All right, well, let's do it then. Yeah, I'm not sure if I, like, lost my house, uh, like the house I grew up in, I would much care because most of my adventures were inside Maybe on the video I game console. Spoiled the birds. She liked animals way more than people. I can relate to that. Ah, so... Marianne was... Well, no, nah, it might not be our mother's name. It might be someone else. Vessel. It's our vessel. Hey, you remember that? Come on, Tyler. It's freezing out here. You're right. Sorry. Let's head inside. Interesting. Uh, but there's stuff I want to explore. Oh, we have a barn? Did we keep some sort of animals? I'm not really sure what you would keep here. It may just be like a shed, though. At least the shed's still standing. Yeah. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it, though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. What was she doing out here that night? Come on, man. Stop thinking about that. She did not like us using her tools. She was probably just afraid we'd hurt ourselves. Or she thought we'd go on a rampage and tear up her precious plants. And we would have, so... Well, at least the tools are still here. 
That'll help with the repairs. They're good quality, too. Marianne wanted stuff like that to last. Homemade cleaning products may be better for the planet, but they do not have the same shelf life. Oh, add it to the shopping list. Just random tires here. That is that the tire pile, I guess? It's just where you keep the tires. She clearly had everything very very organized. Imagine we can't get in here. That's why we could look through the window. Yeah. Hey, it's locked all right. Yep, it sure is. Look inside here. At least the shed's still standing. Oh wait, yeah. Yep. I don't want to think about what might be living inside it though. Well, better alive than dead. Ugh, yes. Let's deal with that later. Plenty else to do first. Just awkwardly repeating yourselves. These are still here. Yeah. We should hide them so they don't frighten away potential buyers. Interesting. What is this? Garbage? Remember how mad she'd get if we didn't use the compost? And she always knew when we were lying. Waste not or kiss the planet goodbye. Well, at least she seems kind of good about the environment and everything. She seems like she really cared about uh, the environment and not wasting and using her, uh, like uh, like they said, homemade uh, cleaners and such and using compost and all that. Oh. Looks like a neighbor came by. It's funny. I can't remember any signs of them when we were kids. Probably because our mother scared the shit out of them. Yeah. She scared everybody else off too. That's funny. The, the scratch marks on this tree are just a layer put on top of it. And you can see because they kind of move around as I look at the tree. Like the scratch marks are actually moving. Because they're just kind of floating above the tree. They're not actually on it. It's the funny little detail. Alright, let's keep trotting on down here. Had enough boats, didn't we? Yeah, that's a scary thought to just be living somewhere and like a bear could just be scratching on the tree outside your you front really door. Go out there? No, you're right. Like, I gotta be terrified if there was just a bear outside my house. Like black bears are kind of babies and stuff, but grizzly bear that that would be incredibly terrifying. So wow, yeah, just look at this view. Jeez. All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough, enough running around. I'm, I'm taking a vacation in my mind right now, basically. But uh, no, we need to go into the house. At least we don't have any use for this right now. Luckily, remember the snowstorm in 2004? Marianne had us digging for hours. Um. Turn it into a game. Made it a game, at least. That's right. We made tunnels to escape the ice troll. We gotta hand it to her. She can make us do anything if she turned it into a goblin tail. Goblin tails, huh? Yeah, I think I saw something on the Steam page about how these twins had like a game, basically, that they would play in like their own created world. Try to open this. This will shock you, but it's locked. This will shock you, but most people try the front door first. Well, I'm not most people. Okay, Allison. What about the back door, huh? Ugh, it's locked. Seriously? Why haven't you checked the front door? Because true adventurers never walk a straight line. He's right, you know. We always, we always check every side path imaginable before we go to the obviously main story path because who knows, maybe there's a clue or a secret item that will help me defeat the final boss in this narrative adventure game. Uh, did you smoke something before you left Fireweed? The door's right there. Maybe I did. The place is called Fireweed. Locked. Well... It's a good thing I remember this. Yeah, why would the door just be unlocked? You sure that's the right key? Yes. Maybe someone changed the lock. Who would change the lock on us? I don't know. We're screwed. You got a plan B? Yeah. We find another way in. I never knew a locked door that could keep the crafty goblins out. Yeah, we had a million ways in and out of this old house. At least one of them's gotta work. 
I mean, I was just gonna say we bust the back glass doors out, but... <laughs> the crafty goblins. I haven't thought about them in forever. Or should I say, us? We almost spent more time as goblins than we did as kids. Oh, do you remember all the other characters? The moon hag, the ice king, the old bear? Most of them, I think. But the details are fuzzy. Hey, do you know what happened to the book with all the stories? No, no idea. But I'm sure it'll turn up when we clean this place out. Hmm. Uh, so I notice we're getting, like, journal updates. And I know in, like, various Life is Strange games, usually your character, like, writes things down in a journal. But how do I actually pull that journal up right now? I'm pressing just about everything I can on my keyboard to try and... J? No. M? No. L? Mm. Yeah, I can't find it. What is the what is the button for that? Let's see. Collectibles maybe? No, 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 no. That wouldn't be it. Objective find a way into the house. Let's go controls. Uh key bindings. Uh slow walk. Panel skip. Book of goblins is tab. I imagine that's probably what we need, right? Yeah, and bond is space. Okay, never mind. Bond is space and tab. Yeah, I thought tab would be it if it was going to be something like that. Okay, so do you guys have an idea here? What is this window open? Probably got a lot of damage in the in the house if that's the case. Are you just looking at these boards here? I think you're just looking at those boards. Yeah, let's keep looking. Ooh, hello. Why don't we just crawl right in there? Why don't we just crawl right in there, huh? No way. I can't believe it's still there. Go. What'd you find? Our hidden treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. What'd you find? Our hidden oh. treasure. Seriously? How do we think to stash it there? Goblin secrets are always well kept. Okay, there you we need go. A hand with that? No, it should be fine. Okay. If we just get this board out of the way, I could probably squeeze through. So we need something to pry it off. It's screwed in pretty good. We need a screwdriver. Or a crowbar. I think I saw one back in the shed. Let's go check. Ah yes, the shed. So yeah, we don't actually have the Book of Goblins yet, but I imagine that's like our journal in this game. Okay. Should be something in here that'll work. Yeah. I right guess there. Marianne left us something useful, huh? Yeah. We still have to find a way to get inside, though. And please, no broken windows. We'll see ya. What's happening? Do you feel that? What? What? Focus my bond? Remember. And don't leave this room until everything looks as clean as a whistle. Ugh. This is the millionth time I've gotten in trouble because of you. You and your big mouth. Hey, you were thinking the same thing. You just weren't brave enough to tell her. What good would it do? It's not like she ever listens to us anyway. Well, I'd rather scream it right in her stupid face than be a quiet little mouse. Oh, we forgot the key. We need to put it back. Maybe we could hide it somewhere. You know, for fun. Goblins are supposed to help the princess, not play mean tricks. Whatever, you're not fun. I'm only trying not to make her even worse. Whoa, did that just happen? I don't know, but I saw it too. It felt like it did when we used to share thoughts with our voice. It did, but that was a memory of us 10 years ago, right? I vaguely remember it happening. I think so. And, uh, that's new, right? Yeah. We could share thoughts and feelings, but we never replayed memories like that. Why would it happen? And why that memory? I don't know. It's pretty eerie. It's weird, but our voice was always a good thing. This could be too. I'm feeling something again. Near the barn. Yeah, me too. Wow, so you guys basically have a superpower? 
you can just you can just like communicate your feelings to each other just like that. And you can also replay memories from ten years ago. Hurry! Let's go see the silent frog. Coming. I'm coming. What? Stop sulking. I told you already. I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> okay. Guess you don't want to see what I put in the treasure room then. What? No. I want to see. I guess we know where to search now. We just have to remember which one is the silent frog. Uh, must so, be the... Which one of you is hiding the key? Hmm? Must be this one, because they're covering their mouth? Damn, where's the key? Seriously? Kidding. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, okay, sorry. Nice job keeping a secret, buddy. Wow, that key has been there for a while. Wouldn't it be rusted to hell by this point? So what is that? I mean, yeah, I guess it's the key to here. Bingo. Now we got ourselves a screwdriver. Progress made. Gimme, gimme. Got it. All this for a screwdriver? You got a better idea how to get in? Hey, we're just utilizing our superpowers as the mutants that we are. Now use the term mutant not as a negative one, but as a uh, X-Men thing. So I think that's just what the X-Men call themselves. Like, it's an actual thing. Like, just calling themselves mutants. I think it started off as a bad thing, but then they just kind of took to it. Of course, my, my X-Men knowledge is pretty bad. Yeah, those must be some rusty-ass screws, too. <laughs> and that looks like a nail, not a screw, but... There we go. Are you sure you want to go in there? This was our very first den, remember? Who knows what lives down there now? Well, it's really cold out. There's no snakes. You at least know that. Everything okay down there? Tyler? Could be bear cubs. <gasps> wow, rude. It's not funny! <laughs> then why am I laughing? Okay, fine. But you're still an idiot. Alright. I'm going in for real this time. Okay, I'll see you at the front door in a few minutes. Ooh, it is pretty creepy in here. Give him that. Wow, I would be scared this this stuff's gonna fall on top of me. She said what what lives in there now, but I'd be more scared that <laughs> this is gonna fall on me. Ouch! Are you okay? What happened? <sighs> I just hit my head like an idiot. Wait. What? Where are you? Ty, I'm outside. But I can hear you in my head. Our voice. It's back. Oh, shit. I, uh, don't suppose you remember how to get to the Half Dragons. Straight ahead. I need to go left, I think. Oh, I made too much progress there, so it cut the, uh, progression off. But what happens if we go right? You were right. Nothing here. Of course I was. Oh, but what is this? Take. New collectible. The Mad Hunter. Douglas Crossing Olympic event. Rock skipping. Listen, Ollie. Yep. Okay, so we gotta go over here. Left again after the goblins. Oh, this is quite the little maze. Nope. It was on the right. My bad. Oh wait, that's the right way? Okay, never mind, we're going left. Cause there might be collectibles. Like this. Wow. Can't say I ever expected to see you again. It's been a long time, buddy. You're also very moldy. Yeah, get a good look at that butt. There we go. Alright, put you back down. Is 
All right, so it was on the right. Treasure Ruim. Ruim. Yeah, it looks like it's spelled weird. There it is. It's the treasure hoard, huh? You were right, sis. Of course. A goblin never forgets where she stashed her treasure. Not even should a thousand years pass. Marianne grilled us about all these missing dishes, but a goblin never gives up their treasure. Pink. It always had to be pink. I found her old kite. <laughs> I think its wings have been clipped, though. Rest in peace, brave bird. Hmm. I think that's all that's here, right? I looked at that, I looked at that. And there's nothing else, really, that I can see. Pink. It always had to be pink. Yeah. Okay, so off we go. Past the treasure. Straight, Straight ahead. ahead. You know, I almost convinced myself our voice was just another child of fantasy. Me too. But we really are connected. The mad hunter. Why am I still afraid to say his name? He was Mary Ann's creation. She made all the creepy characters. So the mom added characters to your like little game to kind of put you in place and get you to do chores and stuff. It's an interesting little thing to have going on with your parents. Quite an interesting little world they've created for themselves. Even old books just chilling on the table. Crazy. Definitely some like mold on the walls and stuff though. voice again yeah same here so coming in or what just working up to it well we're here So, how do we get started? We figure out what to keep, what to trash, and see what else this house might be trying to show us. Alrighty. I'm guessing, well, maybe the pages flipping isn't an update in our journal. Maybe it's like a objective update, and also that's when the game saves. It doesn't seem real. Alright, let's see. Broken shelf, broken char. And the washing machine. Broken. <laughs> the dryer never worked to begin with. Marianne thought dryers were straight up evil. Energy hogs. I hated hanging drippy laundry. I refused to change for a few weeks once, so I wouldn't have to do it. <laughs> machine repair. Sam K. Robert, Texas for winter. Brooks, too expensive. Tessa. Why not both? It is a little creepy in here. Imagine it's also very cold. 
We should take down the creepy masks if we don't want to scare the buyers away. Oh, so now you don't want to scare someone with those masks. Hey, I just put on the mask and pretended to be a warrior. You were the one who got freaked out by it. Right. Not that she ever let me wear them very long. Yes, a goblin warrior. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. Okay, don't want to go in there. Got it. Got pictures here. Of the family and everything. They got a lot of shelves in this house. Lots of pictures, too. Lots of uh, weird art as well. Huh. This bathroom still smells like Marianne. A good scrub, and we'll be rid of that, too. We were so competitive about who measured taller. Like, we actually had anything to do with it. And after all that, it ended in a tie. Yeah, none of that crazy stretching I did made any difference. <laughs> you were stretching to try and get taller. <laughs> I tried to bury this dress in the backyard, but Marianne caught me. It was a pretty dress. Yeah, well, we both know pretty was never my thing. Yeah. It makes sense why you would want to bury a dress, especially if everybody kept talking about how pretty it was. Well, what are these potions and stuff? Handmade soap. Still here after 10 years. Impressive. You could say that about the entire house. Wow. I forgot all about her weird concoctions. And how she was always testing them on us. Like we were lab rats. Ugh. I don't like the sound of that. Jeez. What are we going to do with all her jewelry? Well, I'm certainly not going to wear it. Donation pile it is, then. Hmm. Not a total disaster, Ronan. Alright, that's it. That's it. All right, that's the bathroom done. The kitchen, yes. What do we got in the drawer down here? Open up. String, glue, duct tape. The holy trinity of house repair. Marianne loved having something to fix. Oof, that's, that's one. I wish she fixed fixed herself. Yeah, well, she could have tried a little harder to fix her own head. Can you picture Marianne talking to a shrink? No. And speaking of... Therapy's expensive, and I'm fine. Ah. Huh. What was she hoping to do with all these jars? She used to barter for our clothes with homemade jam. She tried everything to make ends meet. Well, not everything. Best mom. Best mom. You think we ever really believed that? Or were we just trying to make her happy? Either way, it wasn't true. Yeah, I'm looking to find out more about why. I mean, obviously I know why. After all this time, I, I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Uh, I can definitely understand why Tyler probably hates the mom, but I'm interested to see more about, like, what the mom actually did to make Allison hate her so much as well. Guess we never had time to complete the collection. These came out of one of the prize machines at the Vecchi store, right? Yeah. You'd slide the quarters inside on the little tray, and then magic. Out pops a sticker. I like mint. Or nut. <clears throat> Flex is cool, too. He's one of those long snout dogs. <clears throat> Not sure what they're called, though. 2005. Of course. What's the heart? Hey, she drew some little hearts here. Oh. What? March 7th. Oh. Um. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be getting here. Fucking hearts? Yeah. Like it meant something to her. Oh, okay. It, it was the birthday? Yeah. The last few months are almost 
All blank. Only a few appointments. Most of them canceled. What kind of appointments? Hairdressing, I think. Oh yeah. She did that for a while. Me too, but don't right here. Interesting. Wait, can we turn can we turn more? Can we go? Well no, that's January, so no. Can we turn down more? Maybe. After all this time, I I thought I'd feel more prepared to deal with this mess. Alright, we'll talk to you. How you feeling about being back? <sighs> I thought I knew what to expect, but Everything keeps catching me by surprise. My nerves are completely raw. I get it. How about you? You okay? Not sure how I feel. I'm honestly not sure how I feel yet. I'm just trying to think of it as an empty house. Yeah. An empty house full of actual ghosts. Hopefully they're friendly ghosts. Yes, yeah, like our good friend Casper. What is this? Hey mom, we are sorry the vase got broke. We didn't know you love it so much. We need to be careful and not act up in the window room. Next time we will try and use good judgment. Please forgive us for doing bad things. I'm sorry too, we should be more careful. I'm very sad we made you cry so much. We should play outside instead. I will tell Ellie not to be wild all the time. We aren't going to do it anymore. We are sorry. I see. What are you reading? A letter we wrote her. To apologize for breaking that stupid face, remember? Bore your kids into good behavior. Great parenting strategy. She pinched every penny. Yeah, there's a coupons. Old textbooks. Tessa gave them to us, right? Yeah, she thought we were gifted. I always loved when she came over. She brought food and toys. You might not be quite so excited to see her now. Why do you say that? Her worldview is... narrow. Even by Delos Crossing standards. Eek. Even by this place's standards, eek. I don't remember these. It's probably one of Marianne's unfinished masterpieces. There's two of them. Maybe they were us. In some weird way that only made sense to Marianne. What's with this weird ball over here? It looks like it's like pushed in on one side. I guess that's just a weird shadow. Yeah, see, it looks like it has like a tiny basketball on the bottom. I assume it's a basketball. It could be like a dodgeball though, or something, or some kind of exercise ball. She took so many pictures. Yeah, like she had to document every second of our lives. Want to keep some of these? You can keep some of them. If you want. No thanks. I mean, I like the photos of us, but I don't think I can forget that she was the one aiming the camera. Yeah, that's fair. Wow. I'm so embarrassed for us. Many Da Vinci's we were not. She saved every drawing we ever did. There's a couple of these I might keep. Alrighty. Anything else hiding around in here? Wait, what? Ah, remember. Yeah, I thought we were getting something here. One sec, let me let me look at these though. She was trying to save the planet way before Al Gore made it cool. Has Al Gore ever made anything cool? Nah. I guess she was right about one thing. But you can't really blame anyone for not listening to crazy Marianne Ronan. Um, Mom? About me joining the hockey team? 
Mom! Sorry, what? Uh, not now. Maybe next year. But you promised! Keep whining, and my next year will become never. Can you cut my hair? Your hair is fine. But I want to cut it short, really short. What? Look, I'm tired, and I'm busy. Let's talk about this later. You always say that. Marianne said no to everything. It made me so pissed. She was always on edge those last few months. Yeah, and completely deaf to everything I was telling her I needed. She pretty much always said no to me too. True, but it felt personal with me. Yeah. That's rough. I didn't realize how much I missed the smell of firewood. I miss the cold winter nights curled up here. My big mugs of hot cocoa. Yeah. Marianne was so tired she was usually asleep on the couch. Ah, that's why it was so nice. No Marianne. We used our voice. We'd use our voice so we didn't wake her up. And then we'd be up all night telling stories and watching the fire die. And Marianne was none the wiser. That looks like how we get up to the like loft area? The ladder, I'm guessing? Because I don't see stairs. So... Kind of thinking that must be what we have to do to get up there. Also, this minute's at like this video's at like forty minutes. Mary Ann's room. Let's not go in there until we absolutely have to. Agreed. I'm not sure where else to go though. Um, what else is left? I feel like I've examined just about everything. Hmm. I must be missing something though. Can't examine that. Oh, are these the stairs? Did I, did I just walk past these? I did. I did walk past these. Okay. Okay. Never mind. Here I was thinking we needed a ladder to get up to the loft when there's no... There's just a staircase. You walked right past. Oh, a cool little blanket fort. I want a cool little blanket fort. Wow, we painted all over the house. Yo, what are you doing down there? What do you think I'm doing? Trying to figure out if anything in Marianne's mess is worth keeping. Any progress? Not really. What about you? What are you doing up there? Plotting world domination. Uh, you know, just plotting world domination. Ah, that's a big responsibility. Not sure if you can hack it, Ronan. <laughs> oh, ye of little faith. I guess it is about time to check our bedroom. I'll be up in a second. Yes, can the game save when you come up to? Where'd you come from? A trail of two swords. Okay. Or a tail of two swords. That's a trail. Alright. Is this going to... give us a save? Maybe the game just saves more than I think. Now this? This feels like home. All right. Let's actually just go ahead and end things off here, I believe. So just because this video is already at like almost 45 minutes. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tell Me Why. And I will see you next time.